Now it ain't happened. Shut up. We're coats. starting to stream in a second. It's fine. Oopsies. <laughs> Nothing but professionals here. Yeah, this is the <laughs> highest professional. We okay. We're back. All right, we're back. Hey, we're back again. Yeah, Sorry about yeah. that, team. Yeah. Okay, we're here now. Yep. Uh, yeah. freaking ads. All right. Welcome, all our, welcome back to the party, everybody, and welcome back to the ads. So, to recap where we've been, uh, we, uh, we, the group, the Iron Riders, our heroes, have been given a mission by Sir Tanhauser to come to the ruins of the Memphis airport to interrupt a shipment from the quote-unquote true Federation of Magic to a cult of weapons that contain fairies inside of them. Super gross. Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. It's probably worse than you think. I so, read that book. It's super gross. Yeah. After fairy guns. After traveling through some dimensional shifts in the Ozarks, or the Ozark National Forest, which has expanded and grown, unchecked because of, you know. And, oh. and went crazy. The whole and crazy. forest seems to have lost its marbles. The dimensional shifts were unsettling, but ultimately not deadly. And you have arrived at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, where you were welcomed and... Received. You were received and all will be received in Graceland. Truth. So, you were brought into the town by partially by playing some Elvis music, partially by just not being overly aggressive at them. And the town seems very nice. People are there, seem to be uh, diehard fans of Elvis. There was a Grackletooth wearing an Elvis shirt. There was a man called Colonel Parker. Or, right, Parker. Parker yes, let me just write that down so I don't accidentally forget it. He is Colonel Parker. Yeah, Colonel Parker is the correct name that I wanted to use. Who rec who said something to Jovra, seemed to recognize her tattoos, and called Zarsig, Jovra's dragon familiar, a cousin. Jack is disturbed by all of this and terrified and on high, high alert. Terrified. terrified, terrified, I think aware. I think aware. Terrified. Paranoid. Yeah, I think, I think paranoid is paranoid. <laughs> I'll accept paranoid. Paranoid <laughs> to the point where you block the door off with a bed and, and he's got the shotgun out. He's prepared. <laughs> uh, and you were told that the colonel would uh, take you to see the king in the morning. Um, while they were having this conversation, Iola would have been out trying to make friends and playing guitar with them. Oh, everybody's to like you already rock a leather jacket. You you have green skin and magic. They are totally into you. And playing an Elvis song. Uh, there are people all of all most shapes and sizes there. Um, it seems like an extremely welcoming place. Um, if you are trying to uh, pick up humanoids, you can uh, roll your guitar playing once more time and see like, if you can get if some. I'm uh, to pick up humanoids. But I, I you, oh, you mean like get some? Yeah. Yeah. Get oh. them. If you want to stay in a guitar. different room that night. <laughs> Fair. Um, what kind of people are around? There are men. There are women. There are straight up cyborgs who are. Uh, of indeterminate gender, there are non-binary people, there are several different types of aliens, but not a ton. Um, you see... There's a grackle tooth? There is a grackle tooth. Uh, there is... They're big. And... Big boy. There is a gnome there. There... Uh, a gnome who is about two feet tall and has a big pompadour that makes him look three feet tall. <laughs> yes. He's like a little Dexter from Dexter's Lab. With his <laughs> <Dexter> outfit. <laughs> um, he's actually wearing uh, a, the outfit from GI Blues. So he's wearing like the army. No, no, not in, not into that. 
into the most punk person that she could find is what she would be. Now, here's the thing. Preferably, preferably of the female persuasion, but... Now, it takes a little bit, but you do find someone who's there with their friends and is... You can tell that she's trying to look like she's not into Elvis, but like she's totally into Elvis and this experience. Oh. Yeah, she's just being too cool for this. Yeah, she's trying to be too cool for this, but every now and then she loses track of herself and you'll like catch her dancing or smiling. I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I'll play the guitar for her. All right, roll that. Roll that guitar. Oh, so that's so it is. oh you, the guitar is not the way to this person. Here. Uh, but, so you can keep spending time doing that. Is anyone else doing anything else? Making pegging jokes in chat, it's about it. <laughs> Orca board? No, okay. So, uh... No, that's pinning jokes. Sorry. No, uh, hello. no I you just want to enjoy go my the room And yeah. watch Harkins, who immediately left the room. Yep. As did Iola. <laughs> so what you doing? <laughs> Um, hello is kind of, everybody seems to have their, what they're doing and know what they're doing and hello doesn't. So she's just going to aimlessly wander the town, um, and possibly like, she's going to look to see what like everybody else is wearing and all that kind of stuff and possibly attach some new things to make her fit in more to this area. You do see as you travel around more and more people wearing a lot of sequins and rhinestones. Okay. So she will probably try and bedazzle like <laughs> around. <laughs> there, there um, is a woman who is yeah. like d giving a bedazzling and rhinestone attaching workshop. <laughs> oh no! And I, 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 I just happened to stumble upon this. Upon craft hour, yes. Upon craft hour. I don't know if she'd be like, ooh, girl we need to bajole you kind of thing when she's totally just like oh, okay and just lets it happen yeah they give you so <laughs> i don't know if you've ever seen elvis like in that Hawaii. hair braiding thing where we just push. <laughs> they end up giving you on your on part of you can determine where but like the the, the firebird kind of looking big lapels like okay. sequin or like bedazzling that elvis had in later elvis years all around okay. the giant collars so okay. it now looks like you're wearing an enormous collar of just like bedazzling. I okay, she may have you know how it has like her her cylinder for the um for her goo. Like she, the, she'll attach like a kind of like a collar type metal around it and just to bedazzle that. Gotcha. So along the bottom part of it. They it's you're a big hit. Uh, all the old ladies in this class and the old and middle-aged men in this class love it. I don't say anything, but I play. I just have a playlist of of Elvis songs playing as I just. Did you talk at all when you came in? Mm -mm. They're like, this is the weirdest speaker. <laughs> 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 it's moving around. You gotta get it. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't said a single word, and I like. Except for to um, Jericho. Yeah. But that was like over the speaker thing because he yeah. asked. As you wander around, you see that the place is pretty well defended. The guards on the walls seem on alert. Okay. And there is like a large area in back that looks like it's used as like an exercise field. And you do see uh, a little building that looks like a movie studio and then like a giant clamshell with seats. Are there uh, any for like... after performance? Just for like safety purposes, something like cameras or like electric doors in and out of the like. What there is are, um, there are cameras. There is a camera set up, and there is electric locks on many of the doors to actual Graceland. The hotel has mostly fewer locks and like just hallway cameras. Okay. But Graceland has a lot more cameras on itself. Okay. Would there be a place that I know that I can discreetly tap into those if needed later on, possibly? 
you'd have to find a place. See, the thing is, the cameras are meant to watch over large areas, and getting to them might be hard for you mm-hmm. without someone seeing you do it in okay. your uh, bedazzled form. In your bedazzled form, yes. <laughs> bedazzled state. Behold my final form. So as the uh, evening moves along, Jover, are you going to stay locked in the room with uh, your paranoid friend? Jack. Jover. I think we should walk outside. I think we should go find everybody. Casually. Well, how far do our little... Generally, we'll say a mile, which is more than you would need. Okay. So. Hey, uh, riders, where is everybody? Sound off, I guess. I'm just down at the party. Party. Having fun. There's a big, the the party is big. Uh, Beers are cheap. It seems like they brew a lot of beer. Food is, uh, they love serving, telling you about how fried peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and chocolate sandwiches Anna. fucking mm-hmm. gross peanut and banana butter, that's banana. it peanut butter banana chocolate sandwich uh, you, you just hear over your speaker all the all the old people like oh my goodness we gotta put a, a glitter here and then <laughs> all right i or uh hello is mixed in with a bunch of old folks putting glitter on her <laughs> that tracks Parkinson's <laughs> is at the party iola Making music. What did you say? I said making music. Making music. All right, I will give me. Like do you have any other skills you would like to try to apply? I mean, I'm overall charming. From, yeah, you could use that. That's not, but that's not something that I roll. Remember yeah, that? oh, it's something they roll against, right? I get my thirty percent. I don't oh. know how that works. So I the immediate charm. charm the the way that works is, it is upon meeting you. You can attempt to charm a person. Okay. Uh, and they rolled a nine, which is well under 30. Damn. So they're into you. Oh, they're into me. Okay. Yeah, if they rolled higher, I would have put them over it. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. What is her name? Uh, her name... Oh, I'm going to need to look up a different list for this. <laughs> Gargamel. L-O-I. That's just awkward. No. <laughs> um, would it be weird if her name was also Iola? That would be weird. <laughs> she calls herself Lily Bravo. Lily Bravo. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Please, please. That for laying on top of my Please go. What does she look like? Okay, so she has uh, kind of like a green spiky hair. Oh. It's not... Su- that's... Not super long, but it's a little longer and it's spiked pretty high uh, in different, like, literal spikes. Uh, She has, you can see she's got a a cyberjack port on the back of her neck. Uh, One of her eyes is faintly, like, you can see, like, a little metal rim around, like, seven of nine had, Mm -hmm. if my memory serves. And you can see the eye in that socket it's mostly flesh but it's very well done cybernetics and one of her arms is uh from like the wrist down completely cybernetic Mm -hmm. and is definitely looks like she took the plating off of it to make it look cooler so a cybernetic hand or arm hand hand and arm from like the about halfway down the forearm okay okay uh where you can see like she like she took the plating off of it to make it look more badass. Uh, she is armed, but you can tell she's some kind of hacker city rat. I thought you were going to go full female Johnny Bravo on us. And I was so excited for oh, it. Oh, because she's trying to be over it. She's She's got a white, uh, oh. a white tank top and a black leather like biker jacket. Nice. She's nice. totally cool. Yeah. With like spikes on one of the shoulders. Look, Iola, she tries just as hard as you. Iola doesn't try. Iola just did. Sorry, I just, I could. Of course. This girl wants people to think she doesn't try, but definitely does. 
and but she's she's totally into your aesthetic and loves chatting with you. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk with her about where she's from, what she's doing here. Okay, she says she is from originally she's from the Burbs, but is was in Murktown for a while and made some friends there and was running with a crew uh, called the Tennessee Headhunters, which you wouldn't have any information on. But they are from Murktown, and she came down here with a couple of her friends from from there to check it out because you know it sounded cool and she likes music and. You know, Elvis, like, isn't really her bag, but, like, you know, your friends are going somewhere cool. You're going to go with them. Yeah, totally. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And then I play the song for her, but kind of, like, not really well. I'd be like, oh, but I can play this. And I'll pull out something. I don't know. <laughs> Some Blink-182? No. <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah. Uh... uh, uh... Let's I have see. to like I was very butt rock inspired. Some clash? Yeah, I should probably pull out some clash. Why not? That's fun. Train in vain. Yeah. Yeah. Works. And just the eyes turn into hearts. Uh, <laughs> Which is a power the, she has. The cybernetic eye briefly becomes a heart and then she realizes it did it and then turns it off. Why would you add that feature? <laughs> <laughs> that, you that, put that, that in your eye. <laughs> And so I'm going to talk to her about hacking because she's into hacking, right? Oh, ab absolutely. She's yeah. damn good at it. She knows she's giving you, she's telling you about programs you haven't heard of yet. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Like, could you hack into this place? I mean, I don't want to get us kicked out. I know. <laughs> but like, it'd be really the, fucking cool, right? Their Wi-Fi is secure and I don't know. Something's weird about it, but yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I please go and find hello? Yes. I want to. I want to roughly open up the door where all these old people. What, what am I seeing? Trover jo jo is with Jack. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm just like impatiently going. Yeah. You you trudge down the hallway, <coughs> and uh, I forgot. No, Tulsa. Tulsa's the rest. Greco student. Tulsa goes. Enjoy the year evening. And uh, yep. you, <laughs> you go pounding down the hallway. You break into a uh, conference room four. Jailhouse where... Rock is now playing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Jailhouse Rock. And you see like an old lady with like white hair in braids, an old white lady just like gluing, like Elmer's gluing craft store rhinestones to hello. It's like, oh, hi. Hello. I'm a disco ball, guys. <laughs> I'm, going say to, that? I'm going to look at hello. <laughs> Hello, are you happy she's doing this to you? H Hello, what do you mean? Oh, oh, it's moving. Hello, come on, we're gonna gather up with everybody else. Hi. And she Hi. just starts going towards you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you not you, lady. Hello, are are you are you, are you Hi. fine? We're, we were just gluing things onto the speaker. <laughs> Lady, go back to sniffing glue. This was all a hallucination, and I want to shut the door. <laughs> we're going to take our speaker now. And we'll just... And tap. Jack slams the door. <laughs> we're going to take our speaker now. <laughs> and I want, to, I, want to, I want to beeline for the... Uh... Casually, Jack, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. No, I don't. Um, Casually, as the sparkling. <laughs> no, I want to turn. Jumper, go to the party, find Harkins, find Iola, meet me back out of the front. Okay. We we came here for a job and go to the airport. I oof, mad that I said that out loud, kicking myself, and I am gonna go in a different direction. I want to go um, and try to scope out. Uh, are there buildings that are not open to us? Uh, there is a what looks is looks like a Hollywood recording studio, like a Hollywood movie studio, from the outside, with the big door shut and the tiny door inside that door also shut. And there is a concert venue which is being used, and there are people at. And Graceland itself is sealed off. There's a massive pool out the back, I believe. Right, yes, there is. 
this in this version anyway because there's definitely not going to be anything in the hotel the uh studio to get to that studio mm-hmm. is that a lot of just open area it's it's a pretty open place uh okay um there there is like bushes and whatnot but not all that often that's fine i'm gonna grab a beer yeah. uh uh as i make my way through this stuff mm-hmm. uh grab a beer uh put half of it on me like just kind of splash it on my on my jacket and uh wander out there it smells very hoppy yeah um I don't drink any of it though, and I make my way. I want to try to make my way to to this place, avoiding any guards that I can whatsoever, and try to reach the actual recording. This studio. You notice as you go past, none of the guards are really looking at you, unless you make like a lot of noise. Okay. All looking this at isn't, you. This isn't technically a shut off or a shut down area, then. Yeah, they're all staring out from the walls. I see. Uh, you get right up to the studio. The The door is locked. You have advanced hearing. So you can hear inside uh, the colonel yelling in a language you don't speak. Is it that same gobbledygook language he was speaking to the dragon? You would have heard Elvin at this point, which is, well, actually, yes, Elvin Dragonese. Yeah. It's the same language? Yeah. Okay. But Graceland is, like, locked the fuck down. The actual building itself, yeah. Okay. All right, I want to reconvene with everybody. As you start walking away, you hear through your ear the sound of music playing again, or music playing inside the, the studio until it stops, and then you hear more shouting from the colonel. Is it still in that garbledy gook language? Yeah. As was the singing in the uh, music you were hearing. Really? Yeah. It wasn't the Elvis shit that I've been hearing all day. Well, it, Elvis Dragonese, same language. No, no, Elvin, like, like, uh, oh, you got me, Elvis. It's not Elvis music that I'm listening to. It isn't Elvis music, but it seems in his, like a, a folk blues kind of but like a heavy electric folk blues. He's yelling at people that are recording right now. Yeah. Essentially, that's what I'm hearing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to reconvene. All right. You all meet up? Nope. Nope. Okay. You can't find Iola. Iola is um, like, hey, do you want to meet uh, my friend? I think they're a robot. They're kind of cool. Sure. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Well, bouncy, that will find and she'll come with you. Duck on you is now playing. Hey, where's Iola? <laughs> I mean, I don't. Do I find them easily? You show up a, a second later with Lily Bravo in tow. She's like, oh, that's so awesome. She's like, oh, but the bedazzling's a bit much. I think. I mean, she didn't have that before. I'd have put spikes. Oh, good idea. Everyone, this is Lily. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. Uh, I just nice suddenly got super you. nervous. Oh, don't no, worry about fine. it. None of us buy it except maybe Jack, but I think he would even require permission first. Right. Iola, can we speak to you uh, privately? I'm sorry. How long? Two seconds. Can I step away for just a couple seconds? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be over by the, uh, by the ribs, and there's a. Booth oh, the ribs? ribs. Yeah. Hey, when you come Parkins. back, could you just grab Parkins. me a plate? That sounds amazing. Excuse me. What? I'm just asking <laughs> a favor. We apparently have. Some, we we just have some conversation we're supposed to have. Why why can't I ask our new friend to grab me a plate of ribs if she's grabbing some ribs? What's wrong with that? I'll grab your friend some ribs. It's no big well, deal. You want some cornbread too? Their cornbread's real good. That what? sounds amazing. Yeah, and deep, it's a... Do you want regular cornbread or deep fried cornbread? Uh, oh deep fried cornbread. God. That that sounds like that that sounds amazing. Thank you so much. That's awfully kind of you. All right, I'll be back in like it's a little bit of a line, so like ten minutes. Okay. Come come join me if you can. I, I will, of course. 
And she wanders off. Jack, the only thing you've eaten today is like 300 calories of goldfish. I know. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. All right. I at least have the juice boxes. Got to stay hydrated. I already downed both of them. <laughs> Listen, guy, and I want to I want to kind of like pull them in. Now, I assume there's music. It would be hard for anybody to really hone in and listen to us. Probably. I mean, like, cybernetics and magic. What am I? All right, whatever. You can only if, do so much in rooms. Yeah. <laughs> so. If I may, before we begin, I hold your friend's real nice. I'm glad you met her. Me too. Right. Is it going to be one of those types of evenings, Iola? Like the one we just had, Jovra? I'm sorry, yeah. what? Shade. No, it's not Shade. <laughs> oh, no, it's no. not Shade. No, Iola is so fucking proud of Jovra whenever she gets it. Oh. oh my god, there is no ever, there's never Shade. <laughs> I was not... No, no. Uh, Shame. The guy was like an Adonis, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, yeah, like, it. It's like a fucking. There's, yeah. there's no shade between Jova and Iola. No. Uh, yeah. Yes. Ah. I hope so. All right, guys. Listen, I know we're all having a good time. I know you guys are enjoying whatever the fuck this is, uh, but I'd really like to get on the job. I would like oh. to go scope out the the airport, whatever the fuck it is set up i'd like to set up a camp outside of it a little ways away as quiet as we can lay real low go full recon and then wait for this deal to go down when when do we expect the deal to go down we have something in the dossier on that right uh it would be sometime sometime in the middle of tomorrow so i feel At like high noon <laughs> <laughs> Aula already has a previous engagement for the evening, and I believe it may be rude of us to interpose in that. Right, right, right. Rude, but I and think Jack, smart. Jack. We've had a long day on the road. If we wake up early and we get there before dawn, we accomplish the same thing without getting in the way of our sleep. And we might want to know who this king is. Do you? Do you want to know who this king is? Because Not it particularly. Like Prophet. Yeah. Jack, it would cause problems if I leave right now. What? Remember what I told you. How will it cause problems if we leave? Will he not let you leave? Rude. No, it would be... It would be... I have been offered hospitality. And for me to just leave without having a proper inter interaction, it would it would bring shame on my clan. What, the old guy? What do you need to go say goodbye? Because I know exactly where he is right now. He's in that studio down there. And he is busy. Yeah, which is why it's great if we can go. Look, guys, what are we here for, right? We're here because... Suspicious Thanks. mind starts playing. We're here because <laughs> we're here because there is a deal going down between certain people, certain fucking cult. Now yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting pretty fucking culty vibes walking around this place where everybody's I'm worshiping. Not. Really? Where everybody's fucking dressed the same, worshiping a king, and everybody's look. That guy's blowing fucking heart bubbles. Where the fuck do people yeah. blow heart bubbles? Yeah. Someone looking at that guy. Roll a lore magic. Uh, oh, I, I have, I have uh, more sorry. alien DB. I do not have either. Did you do the magic? That one? Or is it a different lore magic? Oh, Jover got it. Okay, you got one success, but just barely. You've heard of bubble magic before? Oh my god. <laughs> it is practiced by someone called the, uh, I think it's the Yabar Bar, Yababar bubble mages. And they are super weird. And <laughs> Eric. I rolled. These they are pretty like they are, they they are mostly really chill. I'm They're adding chill. that to my long list of I want to play next characters. I'm the bubble mage. <laughs> Behold me. Is it bubble? Are they psionic or I forget? Bubbles <laughs> doesn't matter. Not, not relevant. Bubbles. Not relevant. One hundred percent. Add this to my list. Bubbles. I just I think it would be smarter. 
and I'd feel more comfortable if we camped outside in the city. Nah. Where we can control our environment and we're not uh, balls deep in enemy territory. We're not balls deep in enemy territory. You only think we're balls deep in enemy territory. Because, How do you know we're not? Because if you saw when we came in, there was a cross out of the king. It seems as though the king might have enemies, and those enemies could be the ones we are after. Also, I have a magical alarm in my brain that tells me when I'm in immediate danger. It has not gone off once since we have been here. Well, you might not be in immediate danger. You ever fought a cult before? Yeah, but I'm not here to stay with the cult. I'm here to eat some ribs, sleep in a comfortable right. bed, and then go shoot some people and take a goddamn ferret slave away. That's how a cult works, man. They let you in and then they don't let you out. Okay, can we not... This is not the place to have this conversation. And, um... Jack, I love you. You look a little paranoid right now. I think you need to calm down. Also, keep in mind that the king referenced is a reference to the stage name of Elvis Presley, not a legitimate king. I you know he's not a legitimate... I know that. <laughs> Thank you, hello. Well aware that he's not a real king, but I appreciate your input. I also love the glitter. <laughs> Fine. If you guys don't want to leave... That's fine. Just be careful. I'll hear you. I will be in my fucking room. And I want to walk back to the room. I'm not going to leave if they're not going to leave. Okay. I'm going to go uh, join my friend in line for ribs. Uh, I would, go ahead. Yeah, the line for ribs, you get in front of someone, and someone's like, hey, and someone's like, man, they're not going to run out, probably, right? And they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm with her. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I would like to get a second plate of ribs that I will be taking to Jack's room. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> All right. So the evening progresses. It goes how you'd like it to. Mm. Uh, the ribs, <laughs> delicious. The deep fried cornbread is amazing. They I would like to... A little, little powdered sugar. I would like to have a conversation with Jack. Uh, you bring a plate of those ribs and that cornbread, which smells sp smells up the whole hall wonderfully. It's, That's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to eat it. I let them in. I, 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 I attempt to hand you the ribs. No. Jack, you need to eat. Not today, I don't. I can eat tomorrow. I have what? rations in my bike. I can eat tomorrow. Jack, there I are eat, certain I places eat. in the world that are still good that aren't here to hurt you. I eat a rib. Yeah. This is one of those places. Not Do every place is here to try and murder you in your sleep. Oh. And trust me, I know I've lived a life on the road and had to worry every night about getting eaten by vampires. When you find a place like this, you embrace it for the small minute you're there before you go back to worrying about your life every night. Okay. This was no. a peace offering. I, I understand. I appreciate it. I'm not insulting you, Parkins, but I'm not going to eat that shit. I'm not going to eat or drink anything that's made or prepared by these people. If I may ask, what is your concern? That they're a cult. Is it because they're happy? No. It's because they're fucking weird. I can't, look, I'm not like an educated guy. I don't know a lot, but I know what I've experienced. And I've experienced this before. Welcoming you in, everything is nice. Then before you know it, your friends are bleeding, choking on their own fucking blood. Everybody's convulsing. The people who didn't bow down to some fucking god are being skinned alive and hung from fucking trees. That's what I know. And it happens day and night. Boom. One day it's cool. The next night, boom. The thing about a cult is they're fucking organized. They clean all that shit up. But bam, back to the welcome party. That's what I'm here seeing. I'm just seeing the before part. So if tomorrow comes and we're allowed to fucking leave and no one's sticking us with shit, no one's dragging us into basements, then you bet. I'll say, hey, guys, you were right. What do you know? But until that fucking happens, I'm going to sit right here with this gun pointed at that fucking door 
waiting. They will not catch me again. Mm. I look over at Jovra. Drug. Drug. All right. Well, this plate of ribs will be here with some amazingly tasty cornbread if you so choose to eat it. If not, have a good night. I'm going to bed. Right. I do want to see if I can talk Lily into hacking their system. Just for funsies. Chover would like to stop Harkins and fill him in on what Chover knows. Pretty much 99% chance. I'm, I'm both surprised and completely unsurprised by this turn of events, being that everything we've seen so far, I did not expect him to be a dragon, but I cannot say it has taken my pants off at this point either, given every other weird thing we've seen over the last month and a half. Are we in any real danger here? Because it seems like he was very nice to you, and your pet seemed to see him as some sort of authority figure. I mean, your your pet dragon, your, your associate, the dragon, seemed to see him as some sort of authority figure. Yes. Wait, so we are in danger here? No. We are not in danger. That's what I assumed. But if... Just don't don't start shooting. I'm not. Have, I have been trying to enjoy myself and have a very nice night. I went I know, out and, I and drank are. a beer and listened to music. I don't understand why everyone thinks ever. It's fine. No, no. I, I, it's fine. The one time Harkins has actually been fun and friendly. <laughs> I know you are. You have a level head, Harkins, and I appreciate that. I wanted to keep you informed. I appreciate you informing me of the situation, and uh, it certainly adds more color to it, if nothing else. Um, I wonder, I hate to think you, is there some way we could beg a favor of this guy in case things go poorly tomorrow? Depends on what type of audience we have with the colonel and the king. All right. Uh, well, we'll figure that out in the morning then, I guess. All right. So we cut over to uh, Iola convincing Lily to hack the system, and I'll say you succeed. She's an excellent hacker. So she's got like a 75 in hacking, and she rolls a 43. So she gets in the system. Yeah, and the system immediately pops up. She gets a uh, a little figure pops up on her screen. It's like a little icon, and it's like... And over the speakers of her computer goes, Hi, you're in my system. What are you doing? And she's like... I was looking for my email. She's in the voice is like. Did you have hello come with you for this? No, this is privately. No, because with we've been doing things that oh, okay. I not be a part of. Adult things. <laughs> I will make it even more awkward. Yeah. Mm, squeaky, yeah. squeaky. She'll, she'll record it and play it back later at just the worst time. <laughs> We're all in a meeting. Look what I found. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Look at that. <laughs> Uh, so he's like, y yeah, you triggered an alarm, and here's your emails, so what are you really doing, or get off my system? Oh, sorry, um, well, like, and then I'll just be like, Lily told me that she was really cool at hacking, and I just wanted to see it, because I'm shit at it, so, like, that's it. It's not like, we, it's nothing. We'll get off. Already happened. News! <laughs> Noobs, every click, and it just, like, the, the figure. <laughs> the, the little icon, like, the little figure on her screen just suddenly disappears, and she's like, I am, how did he get in my computer? I, obviously, someone really good. Shit, I'm sorry. But, he, like, he not only triggered my mic, I've heard of, I've heard of things that can hack you with their brains. Like, like, side magic? 
like it wasn't magic it was sci psychics yeah psychics yeah psychics psychics who who can like step into a computer system oh dips on next character we already huh. have one <laughs> interesting like sorry if i got you in trouble i wasn't trying it's, it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool that you got me in trouble really super cool and uh, i don't mind a little trouble oh good Ooh. and then from there yeah from from then what from there we cut to jack just like <laughs> smelling the plate of ribs angrily clutching his shotgun that shit's out i put that outside no there. i know but you what? can still smell it what I'm, time I just, of day is it like it is we're, we're gonna cut tonight real like dead of night okay starting to get real late people are starting to head back to the rooms I did have a thing that I wanted to do. Okay. Just around the general area of our room. Mm -hmm. um, if I can go more, that would be great. But I would like to sense evil to do my sense evil. All right. Sense evil is not going to pick up anything. In fact, sense evil, you, you see one of those uh, giant bubbles float by mm -hmm. and you get like negative evil from it. Okay. Like, that is innately positive magic. Okay. Those weird bubble spells. Okay. How do you even pronounce that? I don't know. A lot of Y's, a lot of B's and Y's in that name. And then before, before, like, while, um, before Jover goes in to the room with Jack, I wanted to go in. Jack. Yeah. I understand that your emotions are high. I would like you to know that I have not sensed evil in the area of this room or building. Please rest well knowing that. I shall pull out a granola bar. Please eat. It's definitely a Legion issue granola bar. Yeah, yeah. I was well. I assume that she's had it. You know, <laughs> I grab it. I tear that shit open, and I go, "Um, you can sense evil." I have very high sensors. Well, that's good. You didn't sense any evil around here, yeah. I only went around the building. That's fine. Here's the thing about people though hello and i don't know how many people you've interacted with but i mean there are evil people but not everybody who does terrible things are evil does that make sense they are less evil when you are with friends <laughs> kind of but if you get a big group of friends and they all believe in doing bad things but for a good reason, what they think is a good reason, well, everyone on the outside sees them as evil, but they don't. From what I have gathered from mortal life is that once you choose something, stick to it. Life is about learning. Yep. And she'll she'll pull out her attempt of a crane and hold it out. Better than it was than the one this morning. Please. Please. It doesn't exactly flap, but <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not bad. Not bad. You're coming a long way, huh? Life is about learning. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I may not be good at much, but I am good at listening. I am here. I don't want to look at her head. Mm -hmm. Her weird head. I want to look at the goo. Is it in there? Absolutely.
You feel stuff. You know, like emotions and shit. Yes. Hmm. Uh. You a cyborg? No. Hmm. Well, whatever you are, you're uh, you're pretty sharp. You know that? I find I am a more blunt object. Okay. You want to hang out with me tonight? Keep me company? I'm not sleeping. I thought you gave me the objective to watch Arkans. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I guess you should. I can change that. He's no. comfortable in this environment. No, I need my team alive. You go ahead and keep an eye on him. And, uh, well, thanks. Maybe I'll take you up on that offer sometime, you know, listening and shit. He hands him another granola bar. <laughs> thanks, I do need that. And smash those. Socks. Take that fucking plate away, too, when you go. I mean, the smell is coming out of the door. It's driving me nuts. Okay. And she just... And, and on the way out, just takes the plate over yes. to Harkin's room. <laughs> As you start taking the plate, uh, the grackle tooth yells down the hall, Hey, you gonna eat those? I've been smelling them all night. I have no need for food. And I'll just go ahead and roll it over to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And he just like warm, warms it down in one big gulp with his massive bones and all. Bones As they turn around, it. as they turn around, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> so. In the morning, unless anyone has anything else tonight, it's a quiet day. It's a quiet morning. Uh, Jack, you hear birds singing. Like, which is a little weird. Mm -hmm. Real until birds? You, until you realize one of those birds is made of, like, you look out the tree next to your window, and one of those birds looks like it's made of pure steel. And it's bright blue. All right, that makes me feel more comfortable. That, like, you're like, damn, a mega damaged bird? How does it fly? And the answer is, <laughs> no one knows. Not well. Yeah. <laughs> is Jover in the room? Yes. Okay. I wake her up. <laughs> I'll wake yeah, you it's, up. It's coming up on uh, nine or we'll say seven, which is when breakfast bar opens. Hey. She would be awake. I, I have an alarm clock that kind of goes, Meep. <laughs> turn it off. Turn it. Turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. I'm gonna go get and, some and, coffee. And, 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 I sleep until high noon. <laughs> yeah, when, when he wakes up and starts ruffling, it kind of goes. Rrr, rrr, rrr. That, that's right. I'm gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> I get coffee and a big plate of food. You know what's that? Yes. Did what? Did you sleep, Jack? No. Are you going to eat this morning? No. I have rations in the bike. Look, I've I've done this before. Sometimes you have to go a long time without sleep or food. It's water you really have to be careful with in these juice boxes. <laughs> I show them like four dried up crushed juice boxes. They did the trick for a while. I guess I'd I got rations on the bike. Understood. I've been rationing the granola bar, too. I've been eating it just throughout the night. Like tiny pieces the whole night. Oh. So, uh, in the morning, there there is a concert that sounds like the, um, the Temptations happening in the clamshell. Or, and there's footage of it on the cafeteria TV. And it's just one guy... It's one alien with multiple mouths on its head doing the different parts, harmonizing with itself. Thanks, Kevin. I fucking hate it. <laughs> no, it's I awesome. And like I it. Lily and I would be out there. Like, okay, then. Don't you think? I feel like that's our, that's her aesthetic. Yes, no, she's like, oh, this is my buddy. <laughs> this is oh. my buddy from Murktown. Yeah, that's Kyle. Oh, you're from Murktown. 
Yes, we did not get into that, but good to know. She said it like four times yesterday. She did say it like four times yesterday. I missed it. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I wasn't you, listening. Yeah, this was obviously a one-night stand if you couldn't even pay attention to your own day. I was, I was distracted by your wonderful <laughs> personality. Day. Jack freaking the fuck out. <laughs> right. I, I hit my communicator. Hey, Jover, when are we meeting this person? So around eight, uh, you get a pinged message sent towards you towards the group uh, that the colonel would like to meet you out in by the fountain in front of Graceland. Is that where my bike is? Your bike's not far from the fountain. Okay. And thus I walk perfectly to the fountain in front of Graceland, <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to tell Lily I have to go. Sorry. Like, can I get your comm code so I can, like, message you? Yeah. Quickly? Yeah. If you're ever, like, in Murktown? Yeah, I have a friend who wants to visit, so I will definitely. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, like, if you're ever looking for some work, sometimes we could use someone who's uh, small and quick. Oh, huh, good to know. And good that. with their hands. And, uh... <laughs> Just a shitty thing going as you Dude. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So you all assemble at the uh, thing, and the colonel's there, and he's like, no, nah, trying to get back in the colonel. All right. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we had a pleasant day yesterday. I got to say, those ribs were amazing. That, that fried cornbread was amazing. Oh, yeah, those, uh, those brontosaur ribs, they're huge, but they're so good. It was so good. If we have the opportunity to spend another night here this evening after we finish all the business, I will be helping myself oh. to another plate of those. What's your business in the area? We're just helping out a friend. Okay, I get you. I get you, cowboy. All right. Well, you want to meet the king? I know you want to meet the king. Yep. I mean... He would be honored. So, my boy the king, he isn't... He isn't the real king. Everyone knows he's not the real king. But we all look to the king for guidance and for, you know, the, the spirit of unity that we think he embodies. So, uh, but there's something special about him. You'll see it when you see him. And you come, and he's like, come on, come on. He walks you in through the double doors, uh, through the lobby, out to a out to a, a giant dining table where at one end of it is a couple of people like there's a butler looking guy and there's a, a young man who looks almost identical to Elvis almost and he's like hey uh, welcome welcome come on in colonel's told me about you uh, have a seat have a seat please and when you look at him, he is... Uh, everyone, roll a d100. If you get under 30, let me know. Is this uh, the guy that they're calling the king? Yes, this is the king. I'd like to use... I think it might work. A C aura. Okay. <laughs> How do I roll a 1d100? Slash R space 1d100. Thank you. You can also, mm -hmm. if you actually click the, the um, dice button on the side... Like, click it, it'll come up with a bunch of different options. 100 isn't one of the options, though. Yeah, it is. If you roll oh, one, if you click it, yeah. Advanced roll. Yeah. Cool. All That's right. Awesome. So, I am not sitting, by the way. Even Jack is impressed by this person. Okay. And a little charmed. Like, that is a handsome man. That is a <laughs> handsome man. That is a handsome man as I put my hand on my gun. <laughs> that is a beautiful face, would be a shame to shoot. I do not say out loud, but I think to myself. <laughs> now, hello. As you look at him with your, you turn on C aura. Mm -hmm. You see an aura around this man. You looking briefly at the colonel. You see an aura of just power, power and lightning. <laughs> power, very, lightning very size, frightening. magic, psionics, big, powerful. He's the most powerful wizard. He's fucking Elvis. No, that's the colonel. No, that's the dragon. Oh, okay. I thought you meant oh. Elvis is like, blah. Oh, that's what I thought you were doing. Okay. When you, so. look, when you look at the king, yeah, he 
radiates light. He okay. radiates magic power like a, a brown magic, like a brown earthy magic. Caramel magic. Super strongly. And and a radiant light of just not a good amount of power. But there is something inside of him that is almost godly. Mm -hmm. just, uh, so not good, but almost godly. Necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, yeah. The light and godly. Okay. So kind of good. L light as opposed to darkness? Yeah, light as opposed to darkness. Okay. No, okay. light is wait. Uh, but you also get earth tones to him as well. Okay. And uh, powerful psychics, powerful psychics on him. He's like, I, I see, I see you've come to come to pay homage to the kings, to the to the real king. And uh, the colonel said you're uh, some uh, very important people, in that uh. That that we can trust y'all, and so uh, I got to tell you, I could use some people I could trust right now. Oh, well, why is that, King? Uh oh, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to talk before breakfast, but uh, if I may uh, ask, Kevin, before we go forward, because I know you did the the detect aura thing. Some of us did roll under thirty. Oh yeah, that was for the charm and press. Okay, so we are charmed then, that is what that means? You aren't, like, magically charmed, but you find him impressive. All right, yeah. Oh, I also, like, yeah, you are, he is very attractive, very impressive. What was his physical beauty? I am imagining, like, like So what about, what about Jovra? Yeah. Jovra sees him as kind of, he is a physically beautiful, he has a physical beauty of 20. Uh, but you're not, like, bought into it. You you are m more willing to distrust him than the others. And for my role? Uh, for your role, much the same. If, okay. Basically, if you got under... Actually, let me look up the numbers. Physical beauty does not bind me. Oh, well, he has a much higher charm to trust intimidate, but he used... Or the charm was first. Mm-hmm. So actually, if it's you rolled under fifty, which doesn't change the math any, but he's extremely good-looking guy. Where can I find my physical beauty on my sheet? It would be under PB. It's Peanut PB. butter. You and have to look within yourself, Jack. Yeah, in, in your heart. <laughs> I'm thirteen. I'm physically beautiful. Thirteen. What are you guys? Ten's about average. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, I'm a handsome man. <laughs> Wait. What it, where is it again? Basic? Yeah. Now I'm curious. <laughs> I'm a 14. Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> I must know that Harkins is more attractive than you. <laughs> He's one point more handsome than me. I'm, I'm a 14 as well. Jover and I, I should be hooking up. It. That's what should be happening right now because we're both 14s. I don't think I have physical beauty. Yeah, you my might, I might not have put one for you because you are a special case. Oh, you're a I... pile of garbage and dudes. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. And I am okay with you. I am pile of garbage. I'm beautiful and now. I'm bedazzled. Yeah. Added the one thing that could possibly make you worse, and that's just fucking glitter. It just makes you even worse. <laughs> no, your physical beauty is eight, actually. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yay! I'm beautiful, no. guys. What, what what's your guys? Jerry, you what's are yours? beautiful. Fourteen. Iola. Oh, Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, but Fuck that makes more people. sense. She's all pixie-like. So the only one uglier than me is the literal pile of garbage. <laughs> that the literal living pile of trash. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I like it. <laughs> This game is fucking great. <laughs> now, statistically, Blood. that means literally nothing unless the number 16 or higher. Blood, dirt, and beauty pageant, guys. <laughs> blood, dirt, and... <laughs> blood, dirt, and... No, it's blood, date, and beauty pageant. <laughs> yeah. Gross, and I like it.
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to throw us. I'm, I apologize. Let us. Let us. Continue. Oh, you are right. My bad, guys. Right. You're in the middle of getting quests. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what What's this ails, beautiful Elvis want from us? What ails you, King? Well, we see we've we've had some trouble. Uh, not the kind of trouble that's a little more than we can handle recently. We so Memphis is a rough bit of town, and uh. Well, damn if we don't have to like double our defenses recently. We've been uh catching some flack, catching some salts from some uh some hooded and robed figures trying to uh, like wait, what, some what figures? Hooded and robed figures. Hooded and robed, all right. Yeah, that's uh, uh, just a fancy way of saying they're wearing cloaks. I got you. Um and they they they're coming at us sideways and they've been they I'm worried they're Trying to catch some of the pilgrims. To, do you know to what end? I, I, one of them was yelling something about something about uh, some kind of cambion thing. I'm not familiar with it myself. And the the colonel goes, "It's it's demons." Uh, can I make a lord demon and monster roll when I hear cambion? Yes, you can. Thank you. Oh, he's a I would also he's a like to do that. I will fail this roll because I have a 25. For I, I have not been allowed to level my character. You did not. Oh, that joke. I oh, also I, failed this what? roll. My what? Success. what? How do you have a 25 at what level you currently are at? Because I took it at level three when I could take oh, okay. it. Yeah. Then that's you. Yeah. Okay. So let me look at your scores. Uh, okay. A Cambion is a demon human. Uh, pairing that sometimes oh. occurs or someone will get turned into it. Uh, they tend to be the let's say sergeants that a demon would use. Is it like, safe to assume they serve something else? Oh yeah. All right. They can be they uh, a clever one without guidance can kind of start to establish itself as a leader or a like powerful thing but it's not super common for them to do that generally there's a higher power behind them it's like now they've they've been they've been hitting us harder and i don't i think we got a couple of them but like we're not built for war here we're built for love have they targeted certain individuals mostly we just saw them run at the wall like three or four times uh, i think they were just testing us did they have any weapons uh, a couple of lasers. Um, they had. Uh, what did they have? I, I heard reports of magic. Now I, I sent some. Uh, I sent some of my golems to reinforce the walls. I'm sorry. Did you say golems? Yeah, I can. Uh, I got some. I got some things I can do. Oh, I can shake right. things up real good if I need to. But uh, yeah, oh, it's it's some part of my. Uh, we. It's a long story about my grandpappy. Uh, who loves parties and uh, is known for some like a uh, fertility magic and stuff like that. If anyone has mythology, they could roll it. Hello's just staring at him and the colonel right now. If not, that's cool. That's uh, a no for me, though. I'm assuming no one does. I don't know. Maybe Jofra. Is mythology even one of them? Mythology it is a skill. Once again, it's riffs. Yes, it's, it's a skill. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I must have missed picking up that lore because if there was a lore mythology, it's not. Would... I'm sorry, it's not lore mythology. It's just listed as mythology. Ah, uh, so just mythology. welcome. Yeah, the system. Yeah, uh, I will say it gives you plus five to lore demon monsters. Yeah, I will <laughs> say if there is a cambion about, and by the way, it is a demon. It is probably under the control of something more powerful. Well, that was my worry. Like, the colonel the colonel assures me, between me and him and some of the people we got around here, I train my people. I'm, I'm much like the king. Self-defense is very important in being able to defend others. I will say, I would imagine it's because of the amount of joy you bring in a place that is otherwise joyless that you have become a target. That would be my guess. I, I see no, like, it's sad that that is our world, but I'm not going to stop bringing draw because of it. What would you like us to do? 
I need you to investigate over it. Like, it's somewhere close by. Like, I haven't been able to send out scouts because, like, I don't want to put people at risk like that. But I haven't had, like, people as armed like y'all come by in a while. Last time we had someone who was armed like y'all said it was Butch Cassidy and nearly shot up the place before the colonel lifted him and threw him out. I quickly look over at Jack and then look back. I, uh, we are not those type of people, I will say. But we are also people who have to work for a living. I understand that. The, the pilgrims that come by there sometimes give us some tributes to help us keep our our like mission going and we're we're pretty good on food. We sell some of the excess food off sometimes. Uh and I'm I'm worried that they're they're looking for me. Cause I there's something about me that uh they might really want. I, my blood is now I'm not just a normal man. I'm a little Obviously. More I'm a uh, my grandson, maybe a great grandson. I lost track of a god, and Tammuz is a god of light. Yeah, all the gods of light have enemies. I'm worried that they're gonna try to use me to get to him. And I can't allow that. So we will defend ourselves and defend our people. But I'm not about to put strangers at risk without some compensation for y'all. And he pulls out a literal gold record. He's like, this is worth quite a bit to some collectors. Uh, it is for, it is a gold record for, let's say, blue suede shoes. Nice. Oh, nice. This is now, this to the right, to the right collector. The king's the king's material is worth its weight in gold, and this this record was so important they pressed it into it. Now, he's got a lot of them around here, and I value them all, but I'm willing to let this go if it helps my people. I look around at the group. Would you? We are capable, but we are going into something dangerous. Do you happen to have any sort of extra equipment we could use? We understand we don't have to keep it, but if we could borrow anything? I, I don't know what would help you. I I could help, well, I guess I could reinforce your duds a little. Spiff you up a touch. I could maybe uh do a thing or two to harden your... uh non-already super armored armor. I'm pretty good at that. Uh, Colonel? The Colonel's like, I can pay you well. And? Jover, I'm going to say this to you because you know what I will mean. I know an artist. I am honored. Not yet, you're not. I know. I hope to be worthy. If I may, we are currently on a timeline that we must keep to. I yes. imagine that this specific job will require a bit of additional investigation and therefore will be tackled after our current job. Basky, where do you want it to scout? Just head east. That's where they tend to come from. Is the airport to the east? Exactly two miles to the east. Yes, perfect. I believe perhaps what we were here for in this are connected. Uh, that's a blessing from the king, I tell you. I'm so glad y'all came. And tell you what. We have to talk about negotiation once we exit this room a little bit. But I will I will gladly welcome any of y'all here well, anytime. And I'll see. I will I'll pray to the king for you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I got a got a good karate lesson to teach. Have fun with that karate lesson. You, he stands up, and you can see he is uh, suddenly wearing a like a gi. Is that the right term? Yes. Yes, a gi. Yep. And does the classic Elvis karate pose, and is like, "That's for y'all," and walks out the door. Is the uh, colonel still there? The colonel's still there. Okay. I'm going to... Can I, being robotic, whatever, be able to use the headset without actually... Yes, absolutely. Out loud? Okay, um, I'm going to tell the group what he says about being a relative of a god is very likely in this scenario. He is a very powerful man of light. That is not at all disconcerting. Um, I would like to be on our way. Process this on my horse a little bit better, I think. I agree. I'm going to let everybody walk out of the room. I want to be the last one out. The colonel's, like, waiting for you to... Not for any reason. I'm just covering their... I, if anything happens, I'm still in the room to act. But once okay. they leave, I leave. Nothing happens. Dover okay. will sort of like... He just gives you like the slightest nod. Right. Hello kind of like hovers. Like she'll be the last to leave for Jack, but then kind of go around to the door so that she can walk with him out just to buddy system it. Got you. So Jack, walking out, no one's tried to tell you not to be paranoid. No one's tried to say, none of the staff or anyone have come down and like tried to calm you down. Yeah. And you can see that the colonel's like, one of the other guys, one of the guys stands next to the colonel, whispers in something, and he just puts his hand on the man's chest and is like, no. And the group heads, heads to the garage. You get in your cars, and oh, the giant, or you get in your vehicles, and the giant music sheet music gates with the dance and Elvis is on them open, and Memphis lies in front of you, and that's where we'll end for the night. Nice. On my way up to my little thing, I'm just gonna grab some more snacks and refill my own personal, and then go back up. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I start scarfing water. Then I stab. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so fucking thirsty. <laughs> All right. So this was a weird episode. <laughs> Fucking Elvis, man. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You made Elvis a demigod. Dope. Love it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Next stop, Dollywood. Yep, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Yeah, thank you. So uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, thank you to our uh, sponsors, Devin Rue, Inc., uh, tabletop loot and so Maddie game or not so Maddie. So Maddie's our friend. The our sponsor is so nerdware. It's what the nerds wear. It's what the nerds wear. <laughs> and let's go around, say something you liked, and uh, give me yeah, you know, give me give me where we can find you and something you liked. Starting with Jack. Hello everybody. I am uh, Evan Jennings. I'm Evan Jennings sixty four on the Twitter, uh, and uh, you can find me every Tuesday nights uh, at 8, playing riffs, like I am right now. And then uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, every Wednesday at 8 also, I run a Blades in the Dark game with both uh, uh, Bisonic and uh, Thronk. Um, and uh, I run my own game at home on a YouTube channel called Beyond EMH, where it is an evil campaign. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, I love this one. I liked it. I liked it. I, I remember you said I knew nothing about what you were going to do, but you said I have a plan. <laughs> and, like, that was, and that was all he said. And I was like, okay. All right. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got things. I think I might have told you it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. You yeah. were not wrong. <laughs> I loved it. This was fantastic. Uh, fucking Elvis as a dev. I think my favorite part, not only being able to, to, to dip a little bit into jack's history because i was like like that obviously it's my character but uh 
Uh, I love the first of all, Bubble Mage. What the fuck? That's an actual thing. Yep. I'm so Finding glad. out that beauty is a stat in riffs. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't know that that's what PB meant. That's physical beauty. That's what that fucking means. Oh, yeah, is that that? This game is fucking ridiculous. I also, love it. You made Elvis a demigod. What the fuck? How am I not supposed to love that? This is fantastic. This is a good one. This is a good one. I, I loved it. Oh, Those are my favorite things. Thank you. All right. Up next will be Harkins. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Sean, also known as Throck. I play Harkins. And uh, I uh, like the ribs. I'm kind of bummed everyone thought it was Cockblock and Iola. And uh, you you're good. oh, thank no, you, you. thank you. I wasn't. The That's the thing. Chad thought I was cockblock and Iola. He and was I'm like, thinking more about food than I was, Iola. Yeah. Let, the man, yeah. let the man get some ribs. She can get ribs <laughs> for him. She's standing in the line. She well, seemed real see. nice, and I just yeah. thought I'd ask. Why is that? Yeah, uh, anyways, <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine. Uh, no, and Jack's here. paranoia was weird. I didn't understand it. I mean, it's fine. Don't yet. No. Apparently, cultists killed his family, and that's really sad, and we'll figure out more about that later. Uh, so that was fascinating. Um, that is not what happened, Fox. A nice person... <laughs> that is not what happened. Oh, my God. Fox, that's not what happened. <laughs> Your chat was all over you tonight, man. I, I was just like, somebody came up, and she seemed nice, and she was going to go get food, and I wanted food, and I had to do this stupid meeting, and th that's all? That's all! Okay. Uh, anyways... Uh, yeah, of course, you can find me here playing Rift. You can find me tomorrow night uh, playing Blades in the Dark as well. Uh, our Friday game is off for the moment until the beginning of September when we start all over again. Um, it may be maybe a week after the be I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, some people can't start right. Whatever. We'll figure it out. And then uh, Sundays, you can find me at 1 p.m. Eastern uh, playing Legend of the Five Rings with um, a bunch of awesome people. Uh, here on the channel, and at 8 p.m. Eastern over on Devil's Luck Gaming, running Shadowrun. All right. Up next is Hello. Hello. Um, hi, guys. I um, am that girl at that place. I play Hello, and I can be found pretty much anywhere and everywhere at that girl at that place, um, except for Instagram, where I am Lady Skyburn. Um, I also have some uh, videos on TikTok of Hello doing random voiceover video stuff because that's fun. Um, and uh, I am... <laughs> now I have to find that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There's a lot of GLaDOS videos of, of Hello. That's what I do with this makeup after I get off the stream. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and you can find me every other Sunday, um, this Sunday, and then not the next, but the one after that, um, on... Thread Raiders playing Tomb of Annihilation, um, where I play a barbarian, so that's kind of a fun change from this character. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty much everywhere and ev anywhere and everywhere is that girl. <laughs> Giving out hugs. <laughs> All right. And just one thing you found awesome, did you say? Oh, um, I have two very similar things. Well, things, but one. Jack, your your paranoia, the fact that it stayed through the entire thing and you didn't let anybody sway that character choice was awesome. Thank and you. then Jovra, how you we're starting to get the like we we understand each other's characters and you were like before shit happens let me explain to you don't go fire face. <laughs> like, <laughs> you were just like I'm a I'm a nip this bird in the butt right now this is gonna be great like i just appreciated how you guys both stuck to your characters and in character worked through something that could have been a very large disaster down the road <laughs> so that was awesome all right we're gonna move on to iola hi i'm kate i go by me and midair on the twitters which is mainly where i hang out and on the discord um I am on Sunday nights in Emissaries of Avithna at midnight Eastern Standard Time, which I think has been called something of hijinks and thirst, which is pretty much right on. Um, I'm with these fine people on Tuesdays, and then we will be starting again Dragon Dark Days sometime in September, where we'll be pirates. I'm excited about it. Nice. Um, I really appreciated just the sheer paranoia of Jack as opposed to the sheer let's have a party of Harkins. That was pretty cool. 
I, I appreciated that like difference between the two of you. Mm -hmm. um, and Kevin, your NPCs kill it, and you had a fucking dragon. Come on. Yep. Yep. This is not the first dragon you all have met. No, I'm sure, but an Elvis. Yeah, I just couldn't resist making Elvis. No, it's beautiful. Just it's beautiful. It. It's just good shit. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Thank you. Uh, and I use my Zoom for good because of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That helped. That was so beautiful. All right. And Jovra. Hi, I'm Michelle Ely. You can find me on Twitter at Michelle Ely. Um, besides this, I do two podcasts for the Going to Geek.com network. One is uh, Legends of Shield, and the other one is Starly Tribune. Um, tonight, yeah, uh, getting for Jova to get to um, interact with Jack and also tell him things that he, she's only told really Iola. That was. You know, that was a big leap for her, but she's been in battle with him, so she knew that she could um, do that. And also to you, Kevin, for making me remember my character's backstory and history and what she can do. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> we can't go on autopilot here. We always have to keep keep on our toes, and I love that. Thank you. I'm, I, I really like to uh, keep everyone on character footing. Like, your characters are... You have your pasts matter. They don't define you, but they're not going to go away. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. So uh, my name is Kevin. I go by by Sonic Kevin on uh, Twitter. I am mostly found on the Discord where I spend a lot of time. And uh, you can find me here and tomorrow night at 8 o'clock playing Blades in the Dark as Sparrow having a blast. Uh, tonight, the... <laughs> Uh, I liked just the opportunity to play Grackletooth and <laughs> figure out what crazy voice I wanted to do for that. But I, I loved I, I loved uh, Iola being like, well, there's attractive people around. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, there was there was plenty of things you haven't gotten to that I had planned, and I was we're gonna we're gonna see some stuff next time. So buckle in for next time. All right. Uh, oh, I also wanted to mention, uh, there's a charity stream coming up. Let me look at the dates exactly. Um, August 30th to September 1st. 52 hours, and it's Riasis? Uh, Riasis. Riasis. Riasis, yes. Riasis, Texas, is the charity we will be supporting, and we have all kinds of prizes, all kinds of amazing games that are coming together. Uh, I think they've been mostly officially announced, right? Yeah, everything's... Uh, I mean, we haven't been like, these are going to be that, but we do have amazing... Like, I haven't... Yes, the games have been announced. D&D &D all day Sunday, because D&D &D all day Sunday. Uh, before that, a whole host of different types of games. Everything from Monster Hearts to an amazing game called Ironheart, which nobody's ever played before, I bet, um, where you are uh, robots in a post-apocalyptic world where the machines kept making more house appliances and you are one of those house appliances and you become self-aware and it's going to be amazing. And oh yeah, God, yes. I'm very excited. I'm going to actually try and sneak into that game because like, I think we have one person missing. Um, but just... Brave Little Toaster movie. Yeah, yeah, like, movie. yeah it's, it's it. like Brave Little Toaster meets Wally. It's the essentially apocalypse. what it is. Yeah. Um, Wally's my favorite movie. Yeah. I was so into this. And uh, so all sorts of crazy goodness. Uh... uh and uh, what do we got? We've got two legendary bundles, four hundred and fifty dollars from D and uh, D Beyond legendary bundles, four hundred and fifty dollars from Modiphius, uh, one hundred and fifty dollars from Evil Hat Games, uh, an ultimate license from Fantasy Grounds, two two month subscriptions to Sirenscape. So much crap, and most of it is thanks to Kate, who's right over here, who has been my my uh, social anxiety coach through all of this and been been my shield so that I don't have to like ask people for things which I'm really bad at and she is really 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 good at so just huge love to her for that uh yeah 52 hours of gaming starting at 8 p.m eastern uh Friday August 30th with a D, D game that I will be writing within the next week or so um and it'll be all about uh refugees and immigrants so it'll be super cool nice yeah. and I will be uh boarding a a ship for a galaxy no not a galaxy far far away the other one <laughs> yeah 
Space, the final frontier. Final frontier. In yes. a game of Star Trek Adventures that is going to be a blast. So join us then, and please tune into the charity and start saving now. <laughs> yeah. With the amazing <laughs> Joe Sonda, who's actually in chat right now. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> the USS Skywalker. <laughs> you joke, but we could do that. Fly, flying through the Dago by Galaxy. With a Dago by Quadrant. Yeah, that's what this is. It's not the star system you're looking for. <laughs> All right. We're going to go raid our dear friends at FemNPC who are currently playing some amazing D&D right now. So join us with all the love in the world. If you've got some amazing emotes or something, drop them. And don't forget to say welcome to the raid when we go into the party. So everyone wave and say bye. And don't forget to say welcome bye. to the raid. Bye. bye. Love you. Are we still here? Goodbye! We're still here for some-